Is democracy in Bangladesh under threat? As the nation casts its vote today, a shadow of uncertainty looms. Doubts surrounding the legitimacy of this electoral process are brought to the fore by the opposition's boycott, the absence of an impartial caretaker government and a palpable reduction in democratic space. This election serves as a critical juncture, marking a significant shift from the past. Born from a struggle for electoral rights, Bangladesh now grapples with the risk of sliding into authoritarian rule. The conspicuous absence of the main opposition party, the BNP, due to allegations of rigging and an uneven playing field, raises dire questions about the fairness of these polls. The dissolution of the once impartial caretaker government, acclaimed for its role in ensuring clean elections, compounds these concerns. This election raises serious questions about the fairness of the polls and marks a stark departure from Bangladesh's vibrant democratic past. But what are the consequences of this democratic decline, one might wonder? Well, for starters, there's the economic impact. When democratic practices are compromised, foreign investors grow wary. They prefer stability and predictability, which are often threatened by political instability. Hence, Bangladesh could see a decline in foreign investment. Trade advantages, too, are at risk. Democratic nations are often favored in international trade agreements. With a tarnished democratic image, Bangladesh might find its trade advantages dwindling. International support is another casualty. Democracies tend to support other democracies. If Bangladesh's democratic credentials are in question, it could see a weakening of its international support. And let's not forget the economic consequences of democratic backslide. Yes, Bangladesh has seen rapid economic growth in recent years. But this growth is not immune to the state of the nation's political health. An unstable political climate can undermine these gains. Economic growth cannot solely justify democratic backslide. Rapid gains may not be sustainable without a strong political foundation. This descent into potential authoritarianism didn't happen overnight. Post-75 turbulence sowed the seeds as power shifts and assassinations weakened democratic institutions. Religious polarization added fuel to the fire as faith-based parties gained prominence in the political landscape. Power concentration and personal rivalries, notably between figures like Hasina and Zia, further eroded the democratic fabric. Despite turbulence, Bangladesh once saw vibrant multi-party elections in the 1990s. As Bangladesh casts its vote today, the future of its democracy hangs in the balance. This election, clouded with suspicion and boycotts, is a crucial turning point. The vibrant political legacy, born from a fight for electoral rights, could be reclaimed, or the nation could continue its descent into authoritarianism. It's a crossroads of history, a defining moment for a country that once thrived on democratic values. Only time will tell if the country can reclaim its vibrant political legacy or succumb to the forces of authoritarianism.